Well, one of the ways I like to use the theology of work website is some evenings I'm at home and I just like to go on the website and uh, just browse through a whole series of the uh, of the stories that are at the beginning of the website without even searching in particular. And I remember one night uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, I'd been having some conversations with friends about the role of pastors and the role of business people and how we didn't seem to really work together as well as we should do in the church. And we'd had a, a real discussion and a real debate about that. And so that night, I remember, I was just doing literally what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm just browsing through the most uh, recent stories. And all of a sudden, I came across this story, Bridging the Sacred-Secular Divide. And I just thought, wow, that's kind of interesting. So I, I simply clicked onto it. And one of the things I found, here it is, uh, Nehemiah 1.1 uh, 1, 1 through 1.10, and one of the things that was really fascinating about the story is in about 300 words or 500 words, it really was a very interesting uh, discussion about what uh, business people or people in the workplace should do and what was the role of the priests at the time. And, and the comment was that when Jerusalem was being uh, rebuilt and was the, when the nation of Israel was being re rebuilt, God needed both Nehemiah to build the wall on the one hand, but he also needed Ezra to build the temple. Because if you had the temple without the wall, obviously there would be no protection and uh, no way to keep uh, enemy enemies uh, out of the temple, and the temple would be once again sacked and, and, and burned down. But similarly, if there was no temple and just a wall, you could end up with a very powerful city but it wouldn't have that moral center to it. It wouldn't have God in it. It wouldn't have a you know, sense of right and justice that uh, we need in a society. And so it was interesting as God built the nation and, and the city again, how he needed both the secular and the sacred. He needed Nehemiah and Ezra. He needed the wall and the temple. And I forwarded this. You can just share it at the bottom here. It's very simple. I press share. Uh, down at the bottom here, I was able then to forward it to my uh, to my friends that I'd been having that discussion with, and I would say within about 15 minutes I was having a series of emails back saying, "Wow, that's interesting," and I think it led us just to a deeper understanding of, of this of the way God works in, in this matter, and I think it helped clarify some things for us. So, a simple browsing, God bringing something relevant, great resources all put together, and very easily accessible. Um, and I recommend this resource uh, very deeply. If you're in the marketplace, if you're a Christian, you're thinking about what God is meaning for you in the workplace, go to the theologyofwork.org.